What is going on guys? Welcome back to Ride Razor. My name is Austin and in today's video we're going to be teaching you guys how to do disaster stalls. So before I dive in how to do a disaster stall, let's quickly talk about what exactly it is. A disaster stall is very similar to a feeble. Essentially, you're gonna be going up a quarter pipe or a bank, installing on the coping, and then going back inside of the ramp. However, a disaster stall requires you to do a full 180 on top of the coping, stall on the bottom of your deck, and then go back in the ramp. It's a very, very, very common stall that you're gonna use very often if you guys are out there scootering frequently. And once you guys get this trick in your bag, it's only going to unlock more tricks later down the road. So there are a few things that you guys need to know how to do ahead of time. The first one is how to bunny hop. Second one is how to 180. And the third one is finally, what I recommend is knowing how to do a feeble stall. If you guys are already comfortable doing stalls, learning a disaster is only gonna come that much easier. However, if you guys don't know how to do a feeble stall, don't shy away, we have a video on how to do that. So click that card up there and check that one out and then come back and you'll be good to go. So if I were learning disaster stalls all over again, what I would do is find a quarter pipe at my local skate park that I feel comfortable already going up and out of and a quarter pipe that I'm already comfortable doing feeble stalls on because once again, I'm already comfortable doing a stall on it, already comfortable going up and out of it. So learning this trick on it is going to be a breeze. So once I find the quarter pipe that I'm comfortable doing this trick on, I wanna make sure obviously that I can 180. Once I know that I'm good there, all I'd wanna do is slowly approach the ramp with enough speed to make it to the top of the ramp. Once I'm making my way up the ramp, I'm gonna bend my knees, bunny hop, do a 180. But instead of doing a 180 up and out of the ramp, you're gonna wanna hop up and not out. So essentially, you're not gonna wanna jump out of the ramp to land on top. You're gonna wanna jump up to land on the coping. Once you jump and you do that 180, you're gonna be landing on the coping, facing the inside of the ramp, essentially, just like you were to drop in, essentially. And once you feel like you're on the coping and you're good, you just drop and go right back in. So in front of me, I have a quarter pipe that I would feel comfortable learning disaster stalls on. As you guys can tell, it's not too big, it's very mellow, and honestly, it is perfect. So I would be approaching the ramp with my scooter obviously facing the top of the ramp like I am now. Once I'm approaching the top of it, I'm gonna jump and do a 180 just like so. And ideally, you're gonna wanna be landing on the top of the coping here with your front foot on top of the coping. That's pretty much the sweet spot to where you're not gonna slide around. A lot of your weight is heavily reliant on your front foot. So when you land with your front foot on the coping, it's pretty much just gonna ensure you're not gonna be sliding around anywhere and you're gonna have a nice stable stall. So once you do that 180 and you land with the coping underneath your front foot, all there's left to do is really just go back in the ramp. So once you feel like you're stable in the stall, you're not going anywhere, all you have to do is pretty much drop back in and then you're done. So now that we know where to do a disaster and how to do a disaster, let's go do a couple. <laughs> 